Back to the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational. We're picking up the action on the first hole. Let's get into it. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Already with multiple victories this season. Nothing good out to the right. This is a trouble. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by two strokes. Here we are at the second tee. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. And this player is certainly uh, finding this spot a couple of times this week. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? This looks to be heading to the green. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This one started out on a good line. Oh, what a start. This is impressive. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? He's currently sitting in first place. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Oh, that is a thing of beauty. The third hole at TPC Southwind, Rich, the first of the par fives on the golf course. A lot of water in play. You need to be brave if you're going for this in two. More golf balls hit into the water at TPC Southwind than any other golf course on tour. An excellent reason why you get a little careless. That water on the right-hand side is going to gobble up that second shot. Going with a three wood here. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass.
from the sand, looking to get up and down. It's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Lovely shot into a few feet. Right on four feet. Should make this one. I don't mind the look of this. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. That'll way to grind it out in the bunker, but up and down for the birdie. Nicely done. We have a par three on this one. Looks like they've got the five wood. This would be a great up and down. Wonderfully played chip shot. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Good putt, that. Leading by three strokes now. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Oh, great swing there. Second shot here on the fifth. Interesting choice of the driver here. <laughs> Getting ready to play their third. Make this one. It's for par. Yeah, we'll take that. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Time to tee off at the sixth. <laughs> Bit disappointing, that one. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? They are very deep into this rough here, guys. I can't even see the ball from where I'm standing. Look out. Oh. 
opting for the four iron here. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Didn't have to sweat that power putt. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great win. Going with the five wood. Yep, that shot safely on the green. We already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. This is a good chance. Ooh. Ooh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down it goes. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Looks to be going with the four iron. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Yep, yeah, well done. And JT is currently our leader. You've arrived at a par four. Wow, that was just striped. Second shot here on the ninth. And choosing the eight iron here. Well struck. Well, this is a putt for the lead. Keep your focus.
that's for birdie. Well hold. And that's going to hoist him into first place. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Luke, top 10 on the leaderboard and moving up. It'll be interesting to see how this player performs over the next nine holes. A long par four. around 180 yards out. Going with a four iron here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Birdie at the last. This for another. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. He's currently in a share of top spot. We have a par three on this one. Going with the eight iron here. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Oh, this looks pure. Ooh, right by the hole. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. Oh, well hold. Let's move on. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. They are trailing, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. That one's heading down Broadway. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. 
Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. It's up, it could be in. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Good shot there. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. <laughs> Opting for the four iron here. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Opting for the three wood. This one is chewing fiber. Second shot here on the 14th. Well, that's criminal. How do you leave that short? Tell you what, I watch out. This guy's going to be on full tilt here shortly. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. He's currently tied for first. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today.
Oh, that looked like a bit of an ugly swing there. Ah, it's a little wayward. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Setting up to play the shot here from the green side rough. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. Didn't that look good for a long time? If he makes this, he'll save his par. That's well hold. And they're going to have to really focus in here to try and chase down that leader. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. He's got a one-shot buffer. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. <laughs> Needs to make a move soon. And the effort, that one. The final par five at TPC Southwind is a good one. Up the hill, Rich, and a chance to get there in two. Second shot back up the hill at 16. Bunkers on the front left and back right of this green could pose some problems. However, this hole generally plays the easiest on the golf course. Go ahead, take it on the flagstick with your seconds. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Definitely brave on that one, setting up a nice eagle opportunity, especially since they're one back of the lead. This one's tracking. Well played. What an eagle. What a way to make a move to the top of the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Ting off here on the 17th hole. Heading to the rough for mine. <laughs> Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Looks to be going with the four iron. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's exhibit A. What an opportunity to make a birdie. It's got a chance. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And after that hole, you're currently leading JT by a couple of shots. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honour on the hole. Uh, 
Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. It's all come down to this, a putt for the title. Great stroke. And there you have it. The winner of the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational. What a win this one is. And a hard-fought win indeed. The winds were blowing all week, but this player outlasted the rest. I got to say, gutsy performance all around. Great win. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.